Here's my invocations for this 350. I'm just trying some things out at the moment. I've, um, I want to see what the big blood's like now that they've updated the little ones to have more health. And also going to see how deadly prayers runs as well, as well as taking off needs some help. So this should be chill, but it's the first one of the day. So we'll see how we go. Alright, let's see how this blood goes. Is that slower, you reckon? Can't tell. It didn't seem to have as much health as it usually did, to be honest. Be a little easier than the triples. Probably does less damage as well. Not sure. This is raid. This is level zero, though, so... That could definitely change. Holy fuck. I don't know what I was doing now. Hopefully we can get this kill real quick. First run of the day. A little bit sloppy.
Jesus. like to overheal there just for these overlords does always come in handy nice 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 Now the reason I've swapped it up and tried out trying out these ones is just so I can get a bit closer to doing a 425, get a little bit more comfortable. Because I do want to, I do find it fun just challenging myself and trying to, I really want to get that 500. I know I can do it, it's just going to take a little. Now let's see if getting hit drains my prayer from these dudes. What's my prayer? 
18. Cause it, I think it rounds down. So technically shouldn't. Um, doesn't seem like it is. Now we should have a bunch of extra supplies than what I'm used to. Not really. It's like the same. I guess you just get a chance at... Yeah. I don't know. And we do have a level 2 monkey. And because of that, I'm probably going to do the range warden. The one that has Kefri and Arca spawns. Just because that level 2 monkey. I should actually do... No, nah, I should do the monkey. So I can get used to it. Because that's my problem. I'm not really used to those rocks falling. And if I can... Because it will be a level... Yeah, I will do the monkey. So I can get used to it. So what I'm trying to do is just get a lot more familiar. And I think it is better off. It is, if you can do the monkey and croc with the MP3, I feel like you take a lot less damage if you can do it right and you're comfortable. Because the croc hits zeros and you have more time to prey against it. Even though Arca technically does less attacks with Stay Vigilant on. Uh, it does give you a bit of chip damage. These mages are always a problem, they really pound, so when they come out, always make sure I'm praying mage. Because they definitely do fork. That is really nice. Finding my BGS really never hits. I know I didn't have the didn't have my BCP on at the start there, but still, like usually I do. Now I should get these monkeys. A bit early to leave them. Good. 
chance. <laughs> Jesus, brother. I... Come on. Now we just gotta hope that I don't get pounded through prayers. That's good that I killed that monkey. Oh fuck, dude. Gotta get away from that sarcophagus. They're dirty. Come on, couple pounds right now. Couple pounders. One more. Boom. Alright. Wasn't too bad. Took a fair bit of damage, but... That's just how Barber is sometimes. Now let's hope we get this one down here, because I've been stuffing it up left, right, and center lately. It's really been knocking me this puzzle room. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Legendary. Love that. I find I get it more when I put it real close. <laughs> Just how my timing works, I guess. I'm interested to see like how the deadly prayers goes in this room because so far it's been been um barely noticed it which is great kind of good it's gonna become essential i think one more big hit that should be it Finally a spec on this guy. Find every time I go to spec here, he changes. 
There we go. That's nice. Very clean. I really need to learn, um, I really need to learn how to do feeling special and double trouble. I'm a bit scared of it, to be honest. Perfect. Susie's been getting spoon lately, holy fuck. Dude, that was, that was some good hits. <laughs> Now, I still don't know what's worth doing. Oh, I am doing the mage one first, so I might as well pop. Oh, I might as well save the adrenaline to the last phase as well, because then I'll definitely get on. Yeah, I'll do that. Little scarab action. All right, cool. Let's party. I want to do this side first. Okay.
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, I have no idea how many hits, three, four, five, six, are we going to get it? We might not get it to be honest. Did we get it? No, nah. I'm spewing dude. Oh, that makes me really upset. Oh, I guess that's okay. So I have to be tick perfect if I'm gonna do the that rotation. a tick. some fantastic Just hoping for a bit of a bigger one there so right, I'll go in for another one What I like to do here is after he does his attack, I click straight over to the next to the save area. It's just how I find a deal best with it. Because if you kind of, you only get about, it's a three tick attack, so there's very little time. I wasn't paying too much attention. I think it was right side, wasn't it? I don't know. That's why I'm going to go back here and react. No. That's why I go to the back. Because sometimes I'm just not paying attention. Don't know if this is worth it. Definitely not. Might even go for another one after this, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Now I'm not actually sure what the best thing to hit is. I think it's probably around 20 or 30.
Now again, I really wasn't paying attention. I'm not even praying. Now, if you have a Sun Karas, Scarabs are huge here. You can use them to heal up to full HP when the skulls come out. You just gotta make sure your prayer is full. Keep that shit full. That was a little bit rough, but. Focus on moving and praying right. Keeping your HP up. And your supplies stocked up. And then just keep hitting the boss. You gotta be mindful of the next skulls coming. I like to pop a scarab just before the skulls come out. Here we go. Clean. And we're coming up to the final phase now. See, you can swap, but since I don't have claws, I don't find it worth it. I find I'm better off just avoiding damage and trying to hit the boss at every opportunity. So I kind of try and wait, move around for four ticks. Or move for three ticks and attack on the fourth, so I'm never really standing still. That is an ambrosia. See, I find I need to look out for that because I'm finding them like often stepping back into like that. That was close. See, I find I'm often stepping back into the rocks. I can't really tell exactly where they're going on like Kefri's balls. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it's still a pretty clean run. Still got an ambrosia and and some restores left and shit, so wasn't too bad. As a 350. Do we have a purple? That is the that is the magic question. Ah. Oh. oh. What do we got in the chest? Another thread. That's oh my golly gosh. That makes up for the four <laughs> that makes up for the birdhouse run I did earlier where I put Four Ranar seeds and four Snapdragon seeds in, in a birdhouse, dude. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Bank those. Um, This is the log so far. We've done 153. And we got two items. So, look, not horrible because we got the fang. Um, Hopefully we get the next item soon.